Hello and welcome to PMZLounge.com. This is going to be one of the most important videos that you will ever see when it comes to the mathematics involved in the PMP exam. So today we are covering every single formula that you need to know as far as the cost management knowledge area is concerned. So all the PMP cost management related formulas available in one place this video must definitely be in your must watch list. Let's get started. Let's get ahead. So a quick overview on where we are before we move ahead and get started. All the formulas, all the mathematics related to cost management knowledge area is part of this process. The control costs process, which is part of the monitoring and controlling process group. We have covered all other processes of project cost management, the cost management knowledge area. The first link in the description is going to take you to the entire playlist of every video that we have done on cost management. All the formulas, all the mathematics that you see is part of the control costs process and thus it is important to know all these formulas when we talk about the control cost process. All right, let's get started with the first formula that you should know. Schedule performance index or SPI. SPI is equals to EV divided by PV. Here EV is the earned value. PV is the plan value and here if the answer of this formula right you will have the value of ev which is the earned value you'll have the value of pv which is planned value if the answer of this is less than one that means you are behind schedule if the answer of this ev divided by pv is equals to one that means you are on schedule if it is greater than one which means great news you are ahead of schedule so this is how you need to interpret the formula spi is equals to ev divided by pv spi of course is schedule performance index let's move on cost performance index cpi now cpi is equals to ev divided by ac here ev is again earned value and ac is the actual cost again if the value if the answer of CPI when you divide EV and AC if the answer is less than one which means one is greater than the answer that you receive that means you are over budget bad news if the answer is equals to one which means you are on budget great if the answer is greater than one which means you are under budget which means you have enough money and you are spending less money than was considered as part of earned value. So this is how you determine cost performance index. Schedule variance or SV. This is EV minus PV. EV is earned value. PV is plan value. If the answer if SV the value of SV is less than zero, which means you are behind schedule. If it is greater than zero, it means you are ahead of schedule. If it is equal to zero, which means you are on point, you are on schedule. CV, which is cost variance, is equals to EV minus AC. EV is earned value, AC is the actual cost. Again, when you do this subtraction of EV and AC, if the answer is less than zero, it means you are over budget. If it is more than zero, that means you are within budget. This is great news. This is favorable. If it is equal to zero, that means you are on budget on point. Great job here as well. Before we move on, a quick reminder, if you want to clear your PMP in 50 days, head over to pmclounge.com slash PMP study plan with two dashes in between. This will give you a study plan on how you should clear PMP in 50 days. Let's move on. Estimate at completion EAC. Now there are several formulas of EAC and we'll look at every single one of them here. So EAC is equals to AC plus ETC. AC is the actual cost which we have seen in the previous formula as well. And ETC is estimate to completion. Some people also call it estimate to complete. So how much is required to complete that is ETC estimate to complete. Now this formula you're going to use only if EAC if the original is flawed. So the original estimate at completion that you did if that is flawed 
then you are going to use this formula to come up with a new EAC. So if the original estimate is based on wrong data or assumptions or circumstances have changed. So when you're doing your project and circumstances have changed, ETC mentioned here is the new ETC. So expect estimate to completion could be changed based on the circumstances of the project if they change. Another formula for estimate at completion EAC is AC plus BAC minus EV. AC actual cost, BAC is budget at completion and EV is earned value. So you will use this formula if BAC remains the same. So budget at completion, if this does not change, the variance is caused by a one time event and is not likely to happen again. So you will estimate the EAC, you will calculate the EAC because the variance that has happened between your older value and the value that you're going to get after you apply this formula is caused by a one time event. And this is definitely not likely to happen again. Another formula for EAC is going to be BAC divided by CPI, BAC budgeted completion. CPI is the cost performance index. Remember, we calculated cost performance index. We looked into its formula in the previous slides. So BAC divided by CPI is also a formula of EAC. And you're going to use this formula if, e, if your CPI remains the same. If the CPI has not changed, but maybe the budget at completion has changed and that is the reason why if CPI would remain the same till end of project, that is the original estimation is not accurate. So if your CPI, if it remains the same, the cost performance index, it remains the same till the end of the project all as well. So the original estimation was definitely not accurate and you will use this formula to calculate EAC. Estimate at completion. The last formula that you should know is AC plus BAC minus EV divided by CPI into SPI. So this is AC plus all of this. Okay. So there's, there's a constraint that we have when you're creating slides and all. So AC plus all of this, the entire value of BAC minus EV divided by CPI into SPI. This is the formula for EAC. Again, you already know AC is actual cost, budget at completion, earned value, CPI, SPI, you know both these. We have discussed both of these in the previous slides and you are going to use this formula if substandard performance continues. So if both of your CPI and SPI is giving bad news, both these formulas are giving you bad news, then you will have to use this formula if the substandard performance of your project continues. So use when the question gives all the values. So if you see a question in the PMP exam that gives you all these values, AC, BAC, EV, CPI and SPI, chances are they want you to use this formula. Okay, so this formula is not likely to be used in uh, general scenarios. Usually you'll not be able to use this formula because you will not have all these values in a PMP question. But if you do, then remember this is the formula that you need to use. To complete performance index TCPI. Now TCPI is equals to BAC minus EV divided by BAC minus AC. Simple formula, you already know BAC is budget at completion, EV is earn value, AC is actual cost, TCPI is remaining work divided by remaining funds. So this is a good way to remember the TCPI formula. Whatever is the remaining work of the project, you divide it by the remaining funds that you have. So if the value is less than one, you are under budget. This is great news. If the value of TCPI using this formula is greater than one, that means you're over budget. This is a warning. If it is is equals to one, then you are on budget on point again. Great job. So if it is greater than one is the only issue that you may have with TCPI. If EAC is available, use EAC minus AC. So what it means here is if you look into the formula, TCPI is equals to BAC minus EV and BAC minus AC. But if you have the value of EAC, you can plug it here and instead of BAC minus AC, 
you can use EAC estimate at completion instead of budget at completion that is going to give you a better answer and more accurate answer for TCPI. Estimate to completion or some people call it estimate to complete ETC. We just have a formula for it. ETC is equals to EAC minus AC. EAC again estimate at completion. AC is the actual cost. So this is basically the value that you need to complete the remaining project. Let's move on to the last formula. Which is variance at completion VAC. VAC is equals to BAC minus EAC. So BAC is budget at completion and EAC is estimate at completion. So basically what you're doing is variance at completion at the completion phase. What is the difference between your budget and your estimate? If the answer of VAC is less than zero, then you are over budget, which is bad news. If it is more than zero if it is greater than zero that means you are under budget this is best news if it is z is equals to zero then nothing like it that's the best news that's a project that was completed on point so is equals to zero good greater than zero excellent less than zero is where the problem is let's look at an inference here this is going to be helpful so for variances SV, CV, VAC for variances, negative is bad. The negative value is bad and positive value is good. This is going to be helpful for you to remember during the exam. For SV, CV, VAC, variances, everything that it has a variance in it, negative is bad, positive is going to be good. For indices, indexes like CPI and SPI, value which is less than one is bad and value which is more than one is good so this is how you differentiate between variances and indices and kind of remember for a quick reference for your exam one other thing is for tcpi the opposite of above is true so for tcpi what you read here just the opposite of it is true for tcpi to complete performance index now let's try to understand all these values from a project perspective. If you have a project that is going on and this line you consider is today, then this is your original spending plan, right? This is where you are today. You are doing your project and this is your original spending plan, right? Now, this is the present value you have here till here you have basically done some spending and PV present value. This is the present value that you have. This is the budget at completion BAC the value of BAC wherever you read BAC in the formulas. This is what you are looking at budget at completion. Remember you are here today. This is today. Okay. This is the actual spending. So from here to here, this is the actual spending that you have done till today. Again, you are at today looking at today. So the actual spending that you have done, this is the line that represents it. This is the line that represents it. Now, this is also known as the actual cost AC. Wherever you see AC in the formulas, this is what it talks about. The actual cost, the value for today, the money, spent till today actual money is spent till today this is the forecast spending so this line represents forecast of how much you need to spend more and this is known as estimate to complete so this value the forecast of how much you need to spend from here to here this is etc estimate to complete and the final value that you will get is estimate at completion or EAC. So this figure is going to be very helpful in having all these formulas fall into a perspective. What is AC? What is ETC? What is EAC? Right? All these is going to be helpful. What is present value? What is budget at completion? All these will fall into perspective if you remember this formula and that is why I thought it will be helpful to share this. So that's all that we had in this video. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload a new video and don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.